Hi guys, Miss Davis here. So today I'm trying no glasses with the ring light to see if we can figure out something. But today's kind of been a crazy day and today I wanna to talk to you about balance. Not the stand on one foot type of balance, but like balance in your life. So a lot of people give everything to one thing or another, right? There's not a whole lot of balance. If you're giving a whole lot to your career, then you're struggling probably with your home or your personal life. If you give a whole lot to your personal life, then your work life is struggling. So today I wanna to talk to you about balance. And some of this might be conflicting. Maybe you don't agree with some of these things and that's fine, that's fine. Um, when I first started teaching, I was working on getting my master's degree. And when I was working on my master's degree, I spent a lot of time at the school. I was working on projects, I was turning in things, I was still teaching, I still had all these things. And so when I graduated with my master's degree, I made a promise to my kids that I would start working contracted time. And so it was a promise that I made to my kids that they would not have to live at the school. Some of your children may relate to this. I was a child who could relate to this. My mom worked. Um, as a teacher and so we spent a lot of time at the school because it's, ju it's just what we had to do um, but it was a promise that I made to my children and that I still keep that promise um, as much as I can. There are days that I just can't seem to get out the building, I find someone to talk to, the copy machine doesn't work, you know, those kinds of things. But in balance, you have to let some things go. Like you, you can't, I, maybe you can, maybe you are that person that can but you can't do it all. You just have to be okay with it that some days you put more into your teaching than you do into your family. And it just has to, you just have to be okay with it balancing out. Like those nights that you have to stay after school to do the literacy or some game thing or whatever is asked of you, parent teacher conferences. So that day you had to give more to teaching. You have to be okay with that. Like you needed to do it. But then another day, maybe you leave right at your contracted time. The time that you can leave, you immediately leave. You don't take any work home with you. That's how you create that balance. And it keeps you from getting burnout in all aspects. As a mom, sometimes I'm so burnout. I can't do another thing because I deal with kids all day long and I'm tired. And then my son says, mom, can you help me with my homework? No, I can't help you with your homework because I have zero patience left and both of us are gonna end up crying. That's when I have to tap out and I have the ability to tap out and tell my husband, it's your turn. I can't do this right now. I need five minutes to get myself together before I can help our child. It's balance. It does not make you a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're not a good mom or a good teacher or a good worker or a good dad or whatever, whatever roles you play. It doesn't mean that you're bad at it. It just means that today the balance or the scale is in a different area. And I think sometimes we as human beings are so hard on ourselves that we weren't perfect. Girl, if you're perfect, fantastic. Can you teach the rest of us? Because each day I fail a lot in different aspects of my life. And I'm just learning to do the best that I can. And I hope that you can give yourself some grace and understand that each day is balanced. And it not, may not even be each day, it might be each week. Uh, in my house, nothing gets scheduled in August. In August, I'm a teacher first and then I'm a mom. It just, it just is the way that it is. At the beginning of the school year, I'm exhausted. I don't try to do anything crazy. We don't try to do any magical meals. We have corn dogs for dinner. We have something that heats up. We eat out a ridiculous amount in August because I'm, I can barely function because I'm putting everything into my job so that the rest of my school year can be successful and I can give my family the time back. So I hope maybe some of this stuff resonates with you. I hope some of it is stuff that you're like, okay, so I'm not the only one. Um, teaching is hard. Being a parent is hard. Life is hard. So hopefully some of this stuff helps. Hopefully you can go, okay, okay. I hope that you can find balance and grace and kindness in your life. 
Um, but please share with others, especially first year teachers. Um, Lord help you. Uh, the first year is hard. Find a mentor teacher, find, find your people that they can help you. Um, so comment, like, subscribe, share with others. I hope you have a great day. Bye.